whenever we use curves in Photoshop, it changes the colors a little bit. And sometimes it changes the colors in a way that we may not like. For example, if we were to create a curves adjustment layer here by clicking on the adjustment layer icon and then choosing curves, let's say this level, I want to keep it as it is. So with the help of the hand right here, I'm just going to click once. Then in this area, we're just going to click and drag it down to add more contrast. And for these shadow areas, click and drag it down again. Now I like the contrast here, but it absolutely totally saturated this photo. It feels like the colors are bleeding. So what is the solution? A lot of professionals will tell you to change the blend mode from normal to luminosity. That way it wouldn't affect the colors. But while we do that, have a look, it completely kills the colors. If you have a look at the before, see how vibrant the colors were. But as soon as you change the blend mode to luminosity, the contrast is there, but the colors are not. So if you change it back to normal, even though it's very punchy, the colors are bleeding, but the colors are still there, but it's too much. So if the blend mode luminosity works for you and your image and your situation, go with it. Nothing's stopping you. But for this situation, I tried something different. With the background layer selected, press Ctrl or Command J. Now, before we apply anything, let's go to filter and then convert for smart filter so that we can change the values later. Hit OK. So I discovered something in Camera Raw and Lightroom that is way better, that the Adobe team absolutely needs to implement in the curves adjustment layer. And here is that. Go to Filter and then Camera Raw Filter. Inside of that, you have the same curve section right here. Let me change the background to regular default. Inside of the curves section, open that. By default, this will be selected, right? Here you see the regular highlights, lights, darks and shadows. That's not what we are interested in. We want to get the same curves that we had in the curves adjustment layer and the RGB channel. So click on this one. All right, we get that. We get the same controls. For example, you want to brighten this area up and darken this area down. You can do that. You can also use this right here just as the hand inside of the curves adjustment layer. Click here. Let's say you want to keep it as is or maybe make it brighter by clicking and dragging to the right like so. And this area, you want to make it darker like that. And this area, you want to make it even darker like so. Now here as well, the colors are bleeding, but there is an additional slider right here that is refined saturation. Look how wonderful is that? If we take it all the way to the left hand side, it is just like the luminosity blend mode that we applied. If we take it all the way to the right hand side, it is just like the plain curves adjustment layer. So it gives you a nice control in between. So let's say I want to keep it right at about 50%. Hit OK. And there you have it. The colors are not bleeding. This looks fantastic and it just works. Now, the only problem with this one is that it cannot be applied as an adjustment layer in Photoshop. You have to merge everything and then apply it through the camera raw filter. Now, what if you wanted to apply the same effect with an adjustment layer? Is it possible? Let's try that. Let's turn it off for a moment. And just above the background layer, we are going to create a curves adjustment layer with the same settings, similar settings, with the help of the hand right here, click and drag it up. By the way, inside of the camera raw filter, we dragged it right or left. Here it is up or down. And this one down a bit like so. And this one further down. All right. We have a similar contrast. Now to take away the colors, we can create a hue saturation adjustment layer by clicking on the adjustment layer icon and then choosing hue saturation like so. And then you can try decreasing the saturation a bit, but it wouldn't be as good as this one. If you compare it with this one, see, this is just something else and it just works much nicer. But at least you can get a bit closer by using the saturation slider, but still, the colors are bleeding in some areas and it is just not as good. So in some areas, definitely, especially when it comes to adjustments, Camera and Lightroom are better than Photoshop. Now, if you know a little bit about the hue saturation adjustment, you know that you can target specific colors. If you click on the drop down and choose a reds, as we can see that the reds are bleeding a bit, so we can take down the lightness like so and increase the saturation to balance it. By the way, even if you do that, it's still no match for this one. The colors here are just so much better. So I request the Photoshop team to please bring this slider inside of camera. If we double click here, we get inside of that. Inside of camera, we have this refined saturation slider. Please bring that 
inside of Photoshop. That would be amazing. By the way, if you want to learn more about hue saturation adjustment in detail, you can watch this video and I highly recommend that you try the refined saturation slider. I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. Thank you so much for watching this one. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.